What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be answering some of your questions. So I've pulled some questions from um, the comment sections of various videos. I've responded to some of them in the comment sections, but I thought it might be useful for everybody else if I answer them here in this video as well. So without a further ado, let's just get right into it. The first question is from Singh. Singh asked, hello, I am studying IT networking. Can you please tell me how many networking professionals are there in your company approximately? And is it a good profession? So officially with the networking engineering title, I think technically there's one or two, but there are five to seven that actually do networking tasks. Um, it's a little different in my company because within the infrastructure wide team, uh, meaning the infrastructure for the company, there there are one or two network engineers and then a few a couple of others that are either sysadmins or in IT but do networking tasks. Uh, but there's a whole different side of our, our company that does uh, classified work. So they are usually in a closed environment uh, and those closed environments obviously need networking for each area that's uh, that exists there's a dedicated person that does the networking or is a dedicated person that supports it from an infrastructure standpoint it's obviously a good profession without a networking there is no infrastructure that that's what makes the core part of it is and and infrastructure is, is the networking it's the communication between devices and applications uh, so without networking, there is no IT. So as far as your question, if it's a good profession, it's a really good profession, pays really well. That question is from um, Mahmoud John, or maybe Mahmoud John. Um, this person asks, hello, what kind of OS are you using for system administration, Windows or Linux in VirtualBox? I don't know if this is asking for a specific video that I made, but uh, in my profession, I'm Linux heavy. The primary infrastructure that I support is like 90% Linux. So that's where I spend most of my time. There is some Windows as well. So it, we do, we deal with Windows uh, operating system as well. Inside of VirtualBox, like VirtualBox usually is just something that I use locally on a system for either like a test run or just learning purposes. Uh, and that just depends what I'm learning slash testing. Uh, but for my core, responsibilities it's usually the linux operating system um next person he asks i am so interested in system administrator job just finished an associate's degree in cybersecurity. what certificates do i need to build my future in this career can anyone please give me a guide i leave i live around dmv obviously some of this depends what your interests are seeing that you've gotten an associates in cybersecurity, i would I would assume your interests line with more of the cybersecurity stuff um, and less with system administration, DevOps, um, cloud administrator kind of roles. Um, obviously, you can still do that. But certification wise, Security Plus would most likely be beneficial to you. Seeing that you live in the DMV area and you're in cybersecurity, I would heavily look into companies that are in the DOD space. DC area is the hub for all um, DOD industry. Um, and even better if you get, if you can somehow get a clearance, a lot of times uh, if you're willing to get a clearance, the jobs will sponsor it and they'll get you clearance. Um, I think that'll open up a lot of opportunities for you there. Yeah, and I'm gonna shout out a channel that I recently learned about. Uh, I think his name is Day. I can't remember, but I will link it in the description or link it wherever. Uh, and he has a lot of content around security, uh, becoming a security engineer. So I think that might be an area that um, you could delve into. Next question, just LM, just NLMG um, says, I've been enjoying your videos a lot. I think it would be nice if you created a score community to talk about system administration, et cetera. Hope you consider the idea. I've been really thinking about this. Problem is, I mean, I'm I was making videos every week. I'm kind of holding back on that right now, not to uh, burn out myself, uh, especially with work being very busy. 
so instead what i what i'm going to recommend is you join a discord that i'm part of called um, learn to cloud i'm not as active as i want to be in there uh, but i'll link that in the description come hang out there it's a lot it's focused obviously in the cloud uh, and it's run by gwen as well as rishab and they they're in the discord they're about the cloud they're about devops programming system administration a little bit as well they're i mean they're kind of interchangeable and overlap a lot so join that discord maybe in the future i'll create one for my own i guess but uh, we'll see tazak tazak king uh i'm b tech computer science student third year recently have completed my red hat certification and getting more interest in linux um is it good to get into system administration how are the job opportunities in this domain yes it's always a good it's always a good opportunity to get into system administration or it in general i i don't have to say that how big the tech industry is and um how in demand these jobs are uh, if we're talking about traditional system administration there's still a lot of opportunities for traditional system administration where you're working on on-premise servers but a lot a lot is changing i would say system administration is a, a very um, good domain to be in what i would say and in, since you're getting a computer science degree um, and as well as have a linux cert is look into devops right if you're doing a lot of coding um, and you want some operation side of things look into devops or even site reliability uh, engineer uh, those are maybe just alternatives to um, a typical sysadmin job so i got a bunch of questions about education qualification and certifications nasruddin said what certifications do you have as a system administrator i don't have any certifications i got my opportunities through internships other people do so certifications some people are able to land it right after college um, everybody has their own kind of journey. Jefferson says, hi, Hanok, and greeting from Brazil. About the LPI certifications, is it good business to have them to start a career as a sysadmin? What other certifications would you recommend? Okay, here's about certifications, right? If anybody says it's bad to get a certification, that's just a complete lie, right? But the thing about certifications is they're really there just to prove you know something. Uh, especially for hiring manager or recruiters. Um, they can also be a way to learn something specific. So if you want to learn Linux, working towards the certifications might be a good like guide uh, to learning the skill that you need. But ultimately, certifications are just kind of a stamp of approval. Uh, what's more important is it, like having that experience, having projects under your belt, uh, being able to do the actual job. Is, is what's really important for you getting hired. So yeah, certifications are good. I would first look at the job prospects or job opportunities you're going for. Uh, and if it makes sense to have certifications under them, then I would do so. Broward asks, are you using the mic in the video or a lapel mic? The audio sounds cribs. Thanks for the tips. I think for that video, um, if it was another Q and A video, I was using uh, the Blue Yeti mic. Um, I normally use a lapel though. Um, and I have, I'll link a video up here or up here where I have information about my setup. John Price says, is, is this John Price, the, the John Price that I know or a different John Price? So if I were looking for a job like this on Indeed, what would the job title be? Sysadmin, system admin remote work. Can you go over some of the daily regular skills that you need to perform this job? Uh, like with applications you are using mostly Windows or Linux. I answer some of these, or like most of this in different videos. I have a couple of day in the lives ones that kind of shows what I do day to day. And yes, if you wanted a job like what I do, it would be, you would search sysadmin. If you wanted to be fully remote, yeah, you would search sysadmin, then filter for remote. As far as what I do or with the things that I use, I would maybe check out my resume video that kind of has some of the stuff that I work on, but yes, primarily it's Linux. Um, Wasim asks, Sys system admin and server admin jobs are same, question mark. Yeah, depends who you ask, I think. Uh, if you ask me, I would say yes. Like I would look, if I was looking for a sysadmin position, I sometimes would look server admin as well. Uh, but it might differ for a recruiter, it might differ, uh, differ 
for how a company defines what those are. Server admin kind of implies you're working on servers, uh, maybe like actually physically racking and stacking servers. Whereas a sysadmin, you may not be actually physically uh, racking and stacking, but you still work on servers. I think I have a video on what sysadmins do. So I'll probably link that one for you. And with that, that's it for this video. I hope you got some values out of it. And until next time, peace.